this video is going to be about how to um, pad out your paragraphs, uh, change color in text and doing a little bit of uh, CSS uh, to implement your designs. Um, and this is always an important thing and it's it's very basic really, um, but it's, it's very important to do. So we just go on the normal interface of Bootstrap Studio Create new design again blank as as I'll do all these and we go here and that should come up. So on the left hand side, this is a blank canvas. The left hand side we have paragraph. So we're just going to pop this over here and we're just going to bring the bottom of this up where the style sheets are, the HTML. As you can see, there's nothing there really. And here we go paragraph. And what I want to do is change how big it is. So what we're going to do there is we're going to, it's P. So we do this by something called font size. So font and these come up here and it's the third one down. So you can just click it on or you can write it out, whichever. Font size and we're going to put colon and we're also going to put larger. Or put XX large, I think, and that's the one at the bottom, just so um, I can demonstrate this. And semicolon, and that's what the paragraph is. We'll also just change the color while we're on, so we can hopefully see it better. Um, and we just do that by something called color, and that goes at the top, there, as you can see. So you can either do that or you can write it out. Colon, and we're going to put in... Um, just put red for now. So there you go. So you can see that now is paragraph red. So what we can do here is just go right click. So I've got the mouse and inside that paragraph I'm just going to put, you can put anything you want there, but I want to, want to show this convert to HTML. So in the list here on the paragraph convert to HTML okay so if we just click on the left hand side here where html is and we click here paragraph and we can just hopefully edit the code and here we go so what i did there was just convert to html and then edit the code so this is what you're saying this is the p p tags here uh, basic HTML and that's all they are. If you put another P tag and we just did that we could say this is a web page okay and we do this um, and we close the bracket with a forward slash P so these are just normal everyday HTML and we just go there and we apply so there you can see on there now is this is a web page so we've done two paragraphs within this we can put anything we want in within these paragraphs I'm, I'm taking it as if you're a, a newbie to web design um, so you can put anything you want so you can say we had a lovely day at the seaside anything you want and you just apply that the way how to um, space uh, your paragraphs and any text really is we go now and we just we've done that and we'll just show how to um, how to style it. So here's our our divs and we create this and we can do this by padding and oops made a mistake there padding colon and we could say 25 pixels. Oops. Uh, well, I touched the 5 there and that's me zoom button. So say 24 pixels. There we go. So I hope you saw that. If you didn't, uh, if you didn't see the, uh, the paragraph smooth there, we'll just put 50 pixels. So you can see it. Oh, again, that's that 5. Sorry about that. So we'll put 60 pixels. There we go. See, it's all moved. And the more you move, uh, and, and even if you just wanted, you can put pattern left, padding 
left with the dash. And there you go. And again, 60 pixels. So all that does is it just moves the left. So if so if you aren't seeing that, just take there. So that, that's back at no pixels. And you can put, say, 40 pixels. See, it's moving to the left. Or if you wanted to do, uh, move it to the right, for example. Padding, padding right, 40 pixels, uh, top, anything really, uh, padding. You can see them on there. So that's pad on top, see, and it's come away from the top. If you wanted to put 80 pixels, for example, there, it's even further down from the top. And it, that's just the way, way it works. Just pad on top, uh, right, left, and bottom. And that's just basically the way how you how you would do paragraphs and that. You don't want 80 pixels, it's too much there, but that's just an illustration of, of what I'm doing. Um, put 20 pixels, and that's not too bad. And if we put it um, way from the left, maybe. Eh? So go pad and left, there we go. Then that looks quite nice, like that. Of course, you can change your, um, what I did on there, you can, you can change whichever you know how how big you want your text or anything like that by the way as i said before um and, and that's just basically the way that this happens um and that let's just see what else we can do uh p and we can put color um font size and again we can put it medium so they have the medium you can put it in large and that's that's basically the way you you, you do your css for paragraphs and that um so i hope uh, i hope this is um of some benefit i know this can be quite daunting to to learn straight away so if there's any questions um or anything like that it's it's fine just get in touch with us i know this this video is quite uh if if you're new to web design it is quite a uh, quite hard to understand and bootstrap studio doesn't give you that control where you would normally have as, as a web designer and a code editor for example so uh, i hope you've gotten something off that again if if you want us to explain something that you don't understand just get in touch so thanks for watching thanks for listening <laughs>